been looking everywhere for you. Well, now you found me. It's got you so arsy all of a sudden. It's none of your business. What's going on, Gemma? You've been acting strange for weeks. I haven't paid my rent for six months. I've been offered a job. That's great. Doing what? I can't tell you. I'm going to be going away for a few months. Where to? I can't tell you that either. But I'm going to get paid loads of money. Thousands of pounds in cash. I'll be able to clear all of my debts. <laughs> Sounds too good to be true. What are you going to be doing? I know. You can't tell me that either. You must think I'm stupid or something. Look, Chris, this is legit. I've been sworn to secrecy. It's all part of the deal. You can't keep playing these games, Gemma. You can't keep treating me like I'm some kind of idiot. Where are you going? What do you care? Of course I care. No, Gemma, you don't. In fact, I doubt you ever did. That's not true, I... Give it a rest. Come on, fine. Just, just, just go on, leave. Yeah. You're right, that's something I should have done a long time ago. So go on then, fuck off! That's all you're good at! Oh. Chris! What's wrong? What's happening? Chris! Are you okay? I'm fine, Beth. Don't fuss. We're so close now. I know what's happening to you, Jenny. You can't deny it. I've read your early research. I'm showing all the symptoms. No one questions me about my research. Not you, not anybody else. Do you hear me? Hey. It's just me you're talking to. I'm worried about you, Jenny. I wish I'd never developed those damn pills. They can't hold off the inevitable forever, you know. I know. Without your medical expertise, this project could never have come this far. But we can't stop pushing now that we're this close. So what brought on this attack? I gave the girls a demonstration of what we can do. Do you think that wise? Of all people, I thought you'd be the last to question my judgment. Haven't you realized the balance of power is shifting? I'm not questioning Good. you. Good. I've decided to move to phase two first thing tomorrow. What about your father? After last week's encounter, he won't dare challenge any of my decisions. I'll stay here tonight and keep an eye on things. I'll see you tomorrow. Derek, I'm fine. All right, I'll stop now. You want me to come inside? Okay. Sure? Quite sure. I'll see you in the morning. Call me late first. Feeling better now? I'm fine, Derek. Don't worry about me. I'm as tough as old boots. Look, do you mind my asking? 
there a history of epilepsy in your family? I'm just worried about these blackouts, that's all. It's the anxiety, I suppose. You should have let me take it at this I know you mean well, but we probably have spent the whole day there. I think it's much more important I use my time to find Hannah. No one's seen her, you know. None of her friends, anyone in the family, even the police have drawn a blank. I keep telling you, you're not alone in this. I feel partially responsible for what's happened. It's your fault, Derek. I was too wrapped up in my own problems to see how much Hannah was hurting. What could you have done? What you said, the disturbances had the whole family on it. It does seem it was my visit that made Hannah run away. I don't think she did run away. Not without telling me where she was going. Anyway, she's not here. And sitting around talking to you won't make her come home. I think you should go home. I can ask around at university, you mean? I couldn't possibly ask you to put yourself out like that. I'm mean, not putting myself out. I'm following up on a case. That's a completely different thing. Doctor advise you to stay off the hard stuff for a while? Who the hell let you in here? Can't a loving daughter visit her sick father on his return from the hospital? I've been worried about you all week. It's amazing they discharged you so quickly. Oh, actually, I discharged myself. It must have come as a terrible shock to discover you have such a weak heart. One that can give out at any moment. We both know I didn't have a heart attack. Do we? Is there any evidence to suggest another cause for your sudden illness? Well, is there? Sebastian, I... Oh, Jenny, I didn't know you were here. Uh, I'll leave the two of you alone. I'm sure there's lots you need to talk about. I keep telling him to take things easier, but you know what Daddy's like. It's all work, work, work. He never seems to relax. And what did you want, Samantha? Well, there are quite a few matters that need your immediate attention. But they can wait till later. I've put my things in the second guest bedroom. It's plenty big enough for me. Oh, sorry, Jenny, I forgot to mention. I shall be running my affairs from home for a little while, just to be on the safe side. It did indeed come as a shock when the doctors told me I had developed atrial fibrillation. Samantha has uh, agreed to stay here for a while, keep an eye on things till danger has passed. She's my insurer. Just in case anything should happen to me. You do understand, don't you, daughter? Yeah. Sorry to call such a fuss at the restaurant last night. It's just, when you mentioned her, it brought it all back to me. Mentioned who? Susan Williams. Oh, yes, yeah, she's a smart girl. I saw her too. Did Hannah know her well? They were at college together. Well, that adds a new dimension to the investigation. And, you know, I was beginning to formulate a hypothesis based on the psi component of these paraphysical events, but all this new data is just throwing everything up in the air. I'm not sure I quite followed all of that. All I know is that my daughter's missing. She's not the only one, either. Peter disappeared on a business trip shortly after I came to Cambridge, and I haven't heard from him since. That's bad news. Don't worry, I'm used to it. He'll turn up again in a few days, like a bad penny. He does this sort of thing often. Well, you ought to try and find him. He may know where Hannah is. She might even be with him. He wouldn't have told me. Well, you might be right, Eric. With Peter, anything's possible. Hi, I'm Gemma. Gemma. Gemma Crowley. We were told to expect someone called Hannah. No, I'm definitely Gemma. I guess they changed their mind. Yes. Have we met before? I don't know, you do seem kind of familiar. You ever been to Camden? Chance would be a fine thing. We're locals. But you're right, Suze. 
I recognise her too. It's like we met in a dream. I only got here yesterday. Time and space are immaterial in our world. <laughs> Good one, Suze. Okay, now I'm freaked out. Is this some kind of cult or something? I oh, don't be silly. This is Caitlin and Letitia. They make up our group. We're here to help Jenny with her research. Has she told you what we do yet? So you've got the whole women's lib speech to come. Don't worry about her. We're convinced she's a nutter. Harmless, but with a definite screw loose. Yeah, she came around my house three weeks ago with this mad professor boat, but things were going crazy before then. Going? Your family's always been nuts. <laughs> so you guys know each other then? We go to High Banks at Swamp together. At least we used to. We met Sue when Jenny recruited us. So what is all this about then? We call it a meditation room. We come here every day to practice our mental exercises and the other watchful gaze of Miss Elizabeth Smith. I've not met her. You will soon enough, and by the end of the week, you'll be fed up with her. She's always lurking around, trying to be our friend. You're just jealous because... Gemma, one thing. We all learn pretty quickly not to ask too many questions around here. Just keep your nose clean and do as you're told. Good, we're all here. Let's get started. Come on, Gemma, don't keep us waiting. You haven't got all day. That's better. Now we can begin. Good morning. Well, thank you for coming all this distance, Mr. Goodway. Uh, Your product development plan does show some potential. Thank you, Mr. Blake. I appreciate you finding the time to see me at such short notice, especially after your recent illness. But business doesn't come to a stop just because I'm a little unwell. I'm sorry to disturb you, Sebastian. I've got Dr. Cummings on hold. He's the head of technical services at the Research and Development Lab. He says it's urgent that he speaks with you. It seems Jenny vetoed the last set of tests scheduled for next month and has moved up the date for shipment. Did she know? Okay, I'll take the call. Uh, when I finish with Cummings, get Ron Fisher on the line. And bring me the files for the Swiss account. Oh, and Samantha, cancel my appointment with the Regent House. Make my apologies to the Vice-Chancellor. You know the usual drill. Thank you, Mr. Goodyear. Samantha will show you out. Electrical fields generated by all living things. Your brain is run on electricity, your nervous system, and just about everything else in the world. We are special amongst them. We have the enhanced brain structure needed to draw static electricity towards us and then discharge it along any conductive material. Special? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, as I was explaining. The female of the species has always been as well as having the enhanced brain structure, we also have reinforced neural pathways that can hold the energy until we're ready to use it. You mean like a giant battery? Very astute of you, Gemma. Although I've never thought of it in those terms before, it is indeed like a giant battery. you have to be prepared for. You see, sometimes when we get angry, the power bursts out of us. You have to learn to control your temper. However angry you feel, it's vitally important that you remain calm at all times. It's true, Gemma. I had a row with my mum. We don't want to hear about that now, Letitia. Please be quiet while we explain things to Gemma. My research revealed that for every young woman who has a positive charge, there's one who's negative as well, as you are, and as I am. When we just had Susan, Caitlin, and Letitia here, the balance was uneven. We did have another negative in mind, but that didn't work out. But why me? I mean, can't you do it? You should think yourself lucky, Gemma. I was also one of Jenny's early test subjects. 
My body rejected the new synaptic material and I remained unaltered. If she's got special powers, why can't she do Well, someone has to take charge and Jenny must carry on her research. The more we understand about this power, the better. Working as a quartet will allow us to do so much more than before. Your contribution will be generously rewarded. But before we can do anything, you have to learn control. My girls come here every day to practice their meditations. Your girls? <laughs> it's not as sinister as it sounds, Gemma. We are a select group here. All young women in a world dominated by men. I was the first to discover my powers, and like you, like everyone else here, I found it frightening. When I came to England to work with Dr. Stanton, I realized that what he was investigating had nothing to do with ghosts or spirits. It's not. It's us. You and me. We do these things ourselves. We make things happen. Okay, I mean, I admit that things were a bit crazy at home, but what if I want to leave? You know, what if I don't want to join? <laughs> no one's forcing you to stay, Gemma. But like Susan, Caitlin and Letitia, you soon realise you can't control these powers on your own. Others before you have tried, they learn the hard way. Think of the damage you could do to your friends, to your family. All we're asking is that you meditate with the others for a while. Clear your mind of distracting thoughts and allow yourself to feel the power. Once you learn to control that power, you'll realise just what an asset it can be. Fun. Yeah, it's about time men got their basket. You're gonna love it here, Jen. Peter, I mean Mr. Goodway, is out on business and won't be back until much later. I'm sorry, Mrs. Goodway, but I can't tell you where he is. It's company policy not to divulge such information, even to members of an employee's family. But he hasn't been home for days. What goes on between you and your husband is nothing to do with the company or me. I very much doubt that. Since Aztec changed hands, everyone's been a little on edge. I can't afford to get caught breaking the rules. Now, I'd like to help you, Mrs. Goodway, but I just can't. Now, I'm sorry, but I have work to do. Look, I may only be his wife, but I'm not stupid, you know. Don't worry. We'll see ourselves out. I've always wanted to go there. I mean, I've been on school outings and things, but I'd love to get a chance to go to some of the clubs there. They're not all they're cracked up to me, you know. If you ask me, London's one big, dirty hellhole. I've been managed to struggle all my own for the last few years. Don't you have any family? Well, I guess coming here was easier for you then. I pushed off after a big fight with my parents. How the hell did you end up with these weirdos? They're not that bad once you get used to them. At least we've got each other. You seem pretty normal yourself. <laughs> Thanks, I think. You've been here a while. I mean, do you actually buy into all this crap about remote viewing and us being special women about to turn the tables on the men who dominate the world? Not really, but if they're willing to pay me a couple of hundred thousand... How it? much? Look, Gemma, it's best not to ask too many questions. All they want us to do is to focus our energy on computer networks, like the stock exchange. It's just like gambling, except you can make the roulette wheel stop exactly where you want and win every time. The large corporations don't lose out on much. It's only but money. But Gemma, there are no buts. You said you were struggling. Then just play along. If they're on some sort of girl power kick, that's their fantasy, not ours. I'm only in it to get the money to buy myself a flat. You could probably do with the cash yourself. Hmm? You, are you sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. Beats boring college any day. Who are you people? What on earth are you doing in a restricted area? Uh, we are from Pharmaceutical Formulation Magazine. Dr. Peter Goodway granted us an interview, got stuck on a phone call, told us to come and wait uh, here. Uh, sorry to be so... Uh... Rosalind Goodway, what are you doing here? Actually, Jim, we're looking for Peter. But he just said... I know, it's all rather embarrassing. Um, Peter's been away for nearly a week now. His secretary says he's away on business, but I... 
Look, there's just something really important I, I need to talk to him about. Have you seen him? He'll be home in a few days. He always is. What's so important? It's Hannah. She's still missing. Huh. Susan's missing too. You found me now. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Look, never mind. Hannah's still missing, and I've just spoken to Jim Williams, and he says that Susan's missing too. It's too big a coincidence. I'm sure it must have something to do with Aztec Holdings. My God, woman, you finally flipped. Look, don't go dragging me into another of your paranoid little fantasies. The girls have just gone off together, looking for a bit of fun, most likely. You're blowing this up out of all proportion again, just like you did with that ghost and spirit nonsense at home. Has he got something to do with this? This is not fantasy. How dare you trivialise our daughter's disappearance like that? Look, Mr Goodway, I don't mean to interfere, but this could be serious. I mean, it's more than a little strange that Susan Williams and Hannah have both disappeared when they've recently been involved in prolonged bouts of psi activity. I feel sorry for you. Dragged into my wife's pathetic attempts to fill her dull life with some excitement. How dare you speak to Derek like that? Oh, it's Derek now, is it? You've moved on from revering him as the eminent Dr. Stanton. Look, I don't think we want an argument here in the car park, do we? Look, Look, I've worked for this company for over ten years, and the scariest thing I've seen has been the mess left behind after the office Christmas party. It's a coincidence, nothing more. Now, I'm sorry to put a dampener on this growing conspiracy theory of yours. A conspiracy theory? Look, are you sure Hannah hasn't just run away because she's scared of all the strange things happening at home? Yes, Peter, quite sure. I know my own daughter, and if you stayed at home more often, you might know her... Something's not right. Oh, really? He's been lying to me for years. I mean, I know our marriage has been a sham, but I learned pretty quickly to spot when he was lying to me. He's involved. I don't quite know how, but I'm certain he's involved. Sorry I'm late. I'm sick. It's time to carry out a special test of this new group for you to learn to work together when channeling your energy. Gemma, have you ever read any books on remote viewing? Yeah, but how did you know that? I, I worked as a psychical investigator long enough to recognize a like mind when I see one. You'd be amazed at how your story resembles that of Susan, Caitlin, and Letitia here. So, who can tell me what is remote viewing? I think we should go to the police. No, we have no evidence of a connection. Now we need to look into Aztec on our own first. And I'll tell you what. Reluctant as I am to buy into your conspiracy theory, I'm convinced we're being followed. Really? Oh, that was subtle. Come on, run! <laughs> you have the upper hand, so, uh, not now. Well, you can start by telling us who you are and why you're following us. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's only fair. I'd appreciate it if you gave me my gun back first, though. I've met many Brits who know how to handle one. Stay where you are. Look, lady, you may have seen cop shows on TV, but that does not mean you know what to... Now then, tell us who you are, or I'm afraid I'm going to have to have some target practice on your... Okay, okay, I get the point. I'm going to show you my credentials, okay? Campbell Lee, formerly of the Central Intelligence Agency and now for my sins working as a private dick. At your service, ma'am. Looks good enough to me. 
Park and Harold Putoff performs a VSP where the participant describes in detail the surroundings of a distant agent. Very good, Caitlin. And now Gemma's wondering why exactly this is important. You're aware of Targ and Putoff's assertions that anyone can remotely view any location they choose just by concentrating on a contact that's gone to that location. Your test is to find Elizabeth using remote viewing and channel your energy through her. There's some powerful electrical equipment in the room with her. I want you to make it overload. Overload? You heard what I said, Susan. But we usually... Do you doubt your ability to perform this simple task? No, of course not. It's just... It's different, that's all. It may not be what you're used to, but what better way to flex those mental muscles of yours, hmm? And you did agree that while you're working for us, you'd participate in any exercises we set. Well, at least tell us what you're doing here. Well, to be honest, I'm way out on a limb, kind of uh, out of my jurisdiction. But I had to find a way of getting close to Jenny Blake. What's this got to do with Jenny Blake? She works for me. Yeah, but what you don't know is that she also worked for Aztec for the past six years. She only quit when the company nearly collapsed after the government renegotiated their contracts. It still doesn't explain why you're following us. I'd have thought it would be obvious. I saw you at Aztec, your husband works at Aztec, your daughter went missing after meeting Jenny Blake. I mean, need I say more? Look, if, um, if Jenny's got anything to do with Hannah's disappearance, then we've got to go to the police. No way. That woman has friends in high places. I've been following her for a few years now. The tough thing with Jenny is getting proof. But this I do know. Her daddy gave some big bucks to Caltech University. I've got a hunch that's something to do with test subjects that died after taking a so-called revolutionary new drug that she developed. And it hasn't stopped. Sebastian Blake's been pouring money into my university ever since Jenny Blake came to work for me. Well, there you go. You find Blake, you find Hannah. Well, this is only a news summary, and it says that Aztec stock was boosted by the rumour of a major scientific breakthrough at one of their research laboratories and the possibility of a government weapons contract. But then just as quickly, price of the stock fell, and there was a takeover bid from an unknown investor. But it doesn't add up. What have poltergeist and weapons got to do with one another? No idea. Perhaps Aztec were planning to scare their enemies to death. This is serious, Derek. What would Aztec want with the daughters of its employees? Ah, well, we haven't established there's a connection yet, have we? You think I'm jumping to conclusions? Yes. It's just, I've got this feeling that... Yeah, you know, I'd like to give you a test for ESP one of these days. Another time, maybe. Here's a thought for now. Apparent poltergeist activity is almost always focused on a young subject, teenager especially. Now, what if Aztec has its own program of psychical research? But, but it says here that Aztec develops pharmaceuticals, high-tech equipment, and weapons. Yes, it does. So, did your husband ever tell you what he was working on? No. Peter never spoke about his work. He seemed far more interested in the women in his office. And now I've lost Hannah. No, no, no. Nothing's going to happen to Hannah. Yeah. Give him a word. How can you be so sure? I think it's time we spoke to the police. And tell them what? Your daughter's been kidnapped by one of the country's leading industrialists. We've been laughed out of the police station. No, if you're not going to take this seriously, Derek. No, I am taking it seriously, Rosalind. After all, solving these sort of mysteries is my life's work, but we just don't have enough evidence. And getting it, that's going to take time. Well, at least after I'm finished on the computer, we'll be able to plan our next move. I still think we should go to the police. Well, even given the lack of evidence. After what Lee said, you still want to do that? Especially after what Lee said. I mean, who is Campbell Lee, anyway? I'm sure he isn't meant to be working in this country. And from my limited knowledge of the law, I'm certain he isn't meant to be carrying an unlicensed gun. <laughs> well, maybe, but he seemed oddly convincing to me. If you believe that, then you're far too trusting, Derek. What self-respecting CIA agent would go spouting his mouth off about who he works for? Even if they are his former employers. No. Campbell Lee implied that his investigations began as part of his work for the CIA. I thought they investigated international terrorism, not biologists. 
working for companies producing what? Medicines? Rockets? Mind zapping teenagers. I'm trying to remain calm here, Derek, and you're really not helping very much. Sorry. Hey, listen to this. Turn it News were learning of a fatal accident that happened at approximately 4.30 p.m. this afternoon at Aztec's holding research and development site in Surrey. The circumstances are still unclear, but the police remain at the scene. Workers at the site have described what they believe to be equipment malfunction, resulting in the death of one employee, and police have confirmed the employee is James Williams. The accident is yet another setback to this already beleaguered company, which recently experienced a hostile takeover. We bring you all the details as we get them, along with the rest of the news at the top of the hour. That's but now, terrible. Hello. Hello, Janet. Um, I just heard the news. Rosalind. My deepest condolences, Jim. Jim was a good man. Yes, it, it has all come as a bit of a shock. Um, Jim was... still can't believe it's happened. How are the girls taking it? Not good, I'm afraid. Especially Rosie. The girls have gone away to their grandmothers for a few days to avoid the press. Are they bothering you? Driving is mad. It was an accident in Jim's lap, for God's sake. Not some major disaster. Why can't I leave my children alone? I'm really sorry to bother you at such a difficult time, but have you seen Hannah at all in the last week? I'm sorry, Rosalind, I haven't. The last time I saw Hannah was um, three weeks ago. I. In fact, I was going to call you to ask much the same thing. Susan's missing too. Yes, yes, yeah, she ran off two weeks ago. At first we, we thought that she was just sulking over all of... Well, she hadn't been sleeping too well and, um, and then there was some trouble at college. And anyway, uh, I booked her in for an appointment with the local psychologist. But, but you know, Susan, she, she's a darling. <laughs> She's just a bit headstrong, that's all. <laughs> and what with Jim's death? Look, if there's anything I can do, please just ask. Thanks, Rosalind. Um, I'm just, just not quite myself at the moment. and I'm sure Hannah will come home soon. Goodbye, Janet. Take care of yourself. Whoa, whoa! What's happening, Rosalind? You look as white as a sheet. Uh, I'm not really sure, Derek, but I think I'm beginning to work it out. Of course, it's a good restaurant. Jean-Pierre has kept a table for me there for many years. Of course, it's uh, not much fun dining alone. But I've grown accustomed to it. Well, you'll have to watch your diet from now on. All that butter can't be doing your arteries any good. Remember what the doctors told you? Oh, to hell with the doctors. It's my life and I intend to enjoy myself. Well said, Daddy. Though we can never be sure how transient and fleeting such a life can be, can we? What are you doing here at this time of night? Haven't I given you enough work to amuse yourself with? Oh, it's getting late. Perhaps I should go to bed and leave you two to talk. Stay right where you are, Samantha. If anyone's leaving, it's Jenny. She's come barging in here uninvited far too often. He's right, Sam. You stay. I can see you've made yourself at home here already. Who am I to interrupt such cosy domesticity? I came here this evening to tell my father that I'm moving up the schedule for deployment. But since my arrival, a far more pressing matter has come to light. I'm not prepared to discuss business at this time of night. Oh, it won't take long. It's just a little misunderstanding about your trip to clear up. La Paz? Bolivia? I hear it's quite temperate there this time of year. How did you get hold of those? I'd have thought you learned by now that safes with electronic locking mechanisms just aren't as secure as they appear. Sebastian, just stay calm. 
Remember your heart. Oh, such concern. How touching. I can see he's got you wrapped around his little finger. That's okay. If you two want to go running off to South America together, that's fine with me. Just as long as you realize that the company is mine by right. You've been behaving far too arrogantly lately, my dear. What makes you think I haven't already disposed of the company and realized the assets? We know each other's minds too well, Daddy. Don't you think I've been keeping a special eye on your business accounts and other transactions? Why, you... If you know what's best for you, you'll just realize that I'm in charge now. It's only out of decency that I came here at all. Please, Sebastian. Just let her have it. You don't need the money. That's a very sensible suggestion, Samantha. And one I hope my father will listen to. Good. I'm not totally uncaring. Feel free to clear out your Swiss accounts and retire to the sunshine. Maybe a holiday will be good for your health. Well, it's late and we're all tired. We can discuss you granting me power of attorney in the morning. Good night. What was all that about? Jenny likes to think she has far more dictated over the company than she really has. I indulge her too much. But how did she find out about the tickets? That's of no consequence. As long as she accepts that you and I are retiring, let her believe that the company will be hers after I'm gone. The most important thing now is that she focuses her mind on her own psychotic plan for world domination, so that you and I can be far, far away when we burst the bubble. Yes! At last, I've managed to access Caltech University's database of all their research papers they've published in the major journals. And if I hit this here... Voila! Dr. Jennifer Blake's early research work. Well? Well, her early research work was in brain development in teenagers. Most specifically, enhancements to the synaptic pathways in the prefrontal cortex. And? See, unless I'm very much mistaken, this follows on from the work of Dr. Ray Goldstein at the Institute of Applied Mental Health in Baltimore. Now, Goldstein was the one who demonstrated that although 95% of a child's brain architecture is in place by the age of five or six... What's this got well, to do with Hannah? She's 17, not six. Can I finish? It'll all become clear in a moment. Now, Goldstein also demonstrated that with the onset of puberty, hormonal changes trigger curtailing of brain development followed by a rapid regrowth of the prefrontal cortex and the imposition of a completely new synaptic hierarchy over the old. And it's this new hierarchy that largely determines the adult's personality and behaviour patterns. So behaviour patterns like, like Hannah's? Yeah. You see, I think Jenny Blake was attempting to use this period of flux in the brain to create an artificial series of synaptic pathways, you see. The early subjects were given injections which boosted their brain function. But it only worked in women, the effects in men being blocked by testosterone. Hmm. Well, I think I got the gist of that. But was she successful? Apparently not. She published a lot of her early successes. But this latest research proposal? It's missing. Or at least, the link doesn't work. Of course it's missing. Remember what Campbell Lee said? Some of her early test subjects died. And shortly after that, she came to England. Well, excellent. How did you get in here? CIA training uh, has its uses. Mm. Well, anyway, I'd appreciate it if you left now. But you want to know why I'm here? Mm, nope, not really. Look, thanks for the lead on Hannah, but that's as far as it goes. Close the door on the way out. Playing it cool. I like that. I 
don't know what you're talking about. Look, lady, if that's the way you want to play it, that's fine by me. I only came here to tell you what I found. Okay, okay. I'm listening. Jenny's gonna make a move. You found Hannah? No, but I'm close. And I guess you already knew that. What's that supposed to mean? I'm only trying to help. I'll be in touch. Sorry it's so late. Yeah, I know what I said. This is different. We need to talk. Thanks to for a drink. I've been cooped up here for days and it's driving me mad. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> not that way. You don't want the tedious Miss Smith tag in our video. Go on, it's not much of a drop down. We can easily climb. I don't know, Jem. God, you're boring. I thought you longed for the excitement of the city. Okay. much time. I need you to come with me. Are you with the police, Susie? Well, I was just asking. He's not with the police. He's just an interfering little creep. You two have had your fun. Now it's time to get back where you belong. Take him to the car. We'll just take a minute. Well, Campbell, not giving up your crusade, I see. I'm surprised the British authorities let you into the country. Oh, I get it. You're working alone. Can't shake me off that easy, Jenny. I told you once before, I'll find the evidence eventually. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Come on, Campbell, you're not still upset about that little sister of yours, are you? It wasn't my fault. You read the committee's report. The drugs company were held accountable for poor quality control and manufacturing the treatment. By the way, how is your sister? You know full well. Yeah, it's my company that's picking up the town. Yours. Look, Campbell, I don't care what you do, just stay away from my girls if you know it's good for you. You two have caused me a lot of trouble today. Disobedient behavior will not be tolerated. Let him go, Jenny. I warned you to stay out of this. If you hurt those girls, I'm gonna... You're gonna do absolutely nothing. Remember that paralyzed sister of yours? It'd be terrible if anything happened to her, or to you for that matter. You're never going to get away with this, Jenny. Oh, I already have. Are you ready to cooperate with us? <laughs> <laughs> 